Hey friends. So, the best part about being on winter break has been having time to write. I've been going to this coffee shop called Hull, spelled H-O-H-L. It's one of my favorite shops in the world currently. It is, uh, as the kids would say, it is a vibe. And it's been great to go early in the morning to get some writing done because I haven't really had time to write because of being so busy with work, with teaching, grading papers, and all that fun stuff. So it's been really nice to come to a calming and relaxing environment and work on some writing and eat some delicious food. Their avocado toast is my absolute favorite. Uh, something about the way they make it and the spices they put in there. It is absolutely fantastic. And a lot of what I've been writing about lately has been about autism and friendships. As an autistic adult, I struggle to make friends. And so I've been doing some writing about that. And it's going to be on one of my upcoming podcast episodes. It's, uh, I don't know, I think it's going to be pretty good. I don't know, I've learned a lot about myself, so that's been pretty great. Now we're getting ready to go to the library. It's the day after Christmas now, and it's been a minute since we've been able to get to the library, obviously because of the holiday, and there's a book that I'm hoping to pick up. Before we got to the library, we were walking around the fountains they have there and just looking at all the things that had frozen over in the ice, and I love that some kid stuck a sheep on top of the rock there. These little sheep end up getting moved all over the place. Anyway, but it's so cool watching how ice forms, especially around moving water. If I was more of a scientifically minded person, I probably would give you some great reason as to why that is the case, but it's just really cool to look at. Anyway, we got to the library and unfortunately discovered that they were closed and they're not going to open until tomorrow. So, guess we'll go get coffee. So I started reading this book called What Happened to You? Uh, Conversations on Trauma, Resilience, and Healing. It's by Oprah Winfrey and what's the guy's name? Bruce Perry. And it has been such a great book. I've really enjoyed it. It's caused me to rethink how I approach behavior in the classroom as a teacher and how I approach behavior even within my own, with my own children and with myself, to be honest with you. And it really talks about how traumatic events, whether they happened in childhood or in adulthood, how they can shape the way our brains operate, the way we think, the way we behave, our emotional resilience, our ability to tackle future problems. Um, I, don't, I think it's an absolute, it's a great book. And it's really, I mean, the thesis of the book is that instead of asking what's wrong with someone, we should be asking what happened to them. Because sometimes, maybe often, people who exhibit, you know, inappropriate or disruptive or frustrating behavior, it could be that something has happened to them in their past that is causing them to behave the way they behave now. And it's easy to think, oh, they should just get over it. They should just, you know, act right. The thing about trauma is that we can't act right. That you can't just get it together. That's what makes it a, that's what makes it trauma. That's what makes it a traumatic moment is that it's not something that you can just shake off and move on. If you could, then I wouldn't necessarily call that a traumatic event. Anyway, I highly recommend the book. It's really challenged. Like I said, it's challenged how I view classroom behavior, it's challenged how I view parenting, it's challenged how I view my own self-talk. It's a great book.